Hey guys, it's another book review here. Uh, this one is of Bernard Cornwell's Red Coat. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm quite a big fan of Bernard Cornwell. I'm not going to lie. Um, I find his books very easy to read, very entertaining, and with a lot of historical depth to them, or at least research. Like they're, 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 he's certainly done his research on the on the, his books. Like um, they're all very authentic as far as the actual setting goes if not all the time how the um the story develops like um as far as plot but um it's all very entertaining um however i will say this is probably one of the weaker books of his that i've re um, read which um i was a little bit disappointed with i mean um uh, i love the american um, War of Independence, the set, and it's probably one of my favourite periods. Um, and he has done another book in this period, which I'll review later, called The Fort, which is an amazing book. I love it. It's probably one of my favourites. Um, but this one, however, it's it's very different. I, I can see what he was going for. It's it's more of a love story than a um, like than what what you'd expect um, for a you know, a book that seems to focus quite heavily on the war theme. Um, there, there's very few battles in this. Um, I think there's one like halfway through. I think it's Guildford Courthouse. Um, or No, it's Germantown, sorry. Germantown. Um, with the Chew House and all that lot. But um, yeah, it, it and the battle seems to be quite quite a small part of the um, book. Uh, the characters are well developed, but then I feel that he like throws it in at the end because the, there's a few mo main characters that you follow in this, um, uh, two of them being redcoats. Uh, the story f um, follows them both, but inevitably one of them dies. And it's it's done in a real, like, it feels really rushed when it comes to that moment. And the other red coat does something, I'm not going to ruin anything here, but he does something that seems against his character, which the book ends on, and it feels a bit, uh, I, I don't know, it just kind of vexed me somewhat. But apart from that, the it, if you want to have a look at what the period was like for the average person it's really cool to actually see that like in this book it's it describes very well how it was in a loyalist city that had all these problems with like rebels raiding their supplies and stuff like that just general kind of the fit the um how the interaction between the civilians and the army was because it wasn't as you know black and white as it's often portrayed in hollywood and what have you so yeah um no it, it it's a good historical study in a way <laughs> remembering that it's still a um a uh, historical fiction um but as far as the actual book itself, I, I I can't rate it that highly. It is one of his earlier books, I believe. But um, yeah, I'd say if you're really into the period, then give it a read. Um, but you will be much better off reading The Fort, um, which was, yeah, like I say, it's one of my favorite books, although it starts off fairly slow. It's... The, the, the payoff's so good and the characters are developed a lot better. But, um, yeah, that's my review of Bernard Cornwell's Red Coat. Um, there's many different versions of this because, uh, like I say, it's quite an old one. But, um, yeah, uh, if you liked the video, let me know. If you didn't, then let me know, I suppose, <laughs> and tell me what to do different next time. Um yeah, uh, please subscribe uh, and uh, see you in the next vid. All right, bye.